this morning we're going to look at converting a date, I'm sorry, a string to a date. And this is an error message that we get if we have a date field or that looks like a date field, except that it's not actually a date field, it's a string field instead. And so in the next video what I'm going to do is we're going to look at getting the day of the week by using the project. But in this case when I call our collection here Habs, and I do project in day of the week, day of the week creation date, what happens is, is we get this error, can't convert from BSON type string to date. And the reason for that is because db.habs.find.pretty, we will see that it turns out creation date is a string. It is not actually a date. So how do we convert this creation date to a date instead of string? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just access our collection. We're going to do db.habs.find. What this does is this is going to go through each of the documents in the collection, correct? And then we're going to use JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is, in my opinion, very similar to C Sharp, not identical, but very similar. So we're going to use for each, right? So we're going to apply a for each operator. And then we're going to pass in a function. And for those of you who've written JavaScript functions, you know that when you pass in the function, you'll pass in the parameter, which is going to be, in this case, hab. So what is hab going to be? Hab is going to be each of these documents, right? db.habs.find. Each document, for each document, we're going to pass in that document. And this parameter, hab, is what that is, correct? OK. Then we want to, so we know that each document is going to be hab. We're going to use dot notation, and for those of you who've looked at the uh, MongoDB info, you can see that it does use dot notation. So have dot creation date accesses the creation date, right? And we're going to say have dot creation date equals new ISO date, and then we're going to say have dot creation date. Why are we saying have dot creation date? because that's what we want this new ISO date. We're converting the date, right? So we don't want to change the date. We just want to make sure that it's no longer a string. We're saying this field is now going to be an ISO date, and the ISO date is going to be determined by what the hab.creation date is, OK? Next thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to apply the MongoDB operator, because for each of these documents that we're accessing, now we're going to do db.habs.save, and we're going to save the document name hab. OK, or I should say each document that is OK. So and again, if if uh, you want, I would suggest oops, I did that wrong here. I would suggest looking at uh, the MongoDB documentation on db.habs.save. I believe it's been covered on this channel. If not, db.habs.save or db.collection.save in general you will save a document to a collection. So you can have a variable that is a document, and you can just pass in that variable, the document, into um, save there. OK? And we'll see that we apply it. And now, when we look at our pretty, you will see now we have an ISO date. So what does that mean if we apply our aggregate as far as day of the week? And you'll see now it returns the day of the week, which this will be basically featured in the next video. So we're not going to look at that right now. But let's go ahead and look at this function again. So all we really did was we just did db.habs.find, and then we applied the for each operator. And the for each operator makes a lot of sense. It's like, look, for each item in this collection, which this is a collection, habs, right? For each item in this collection, we're going to apply that function. Hab is each of those documents in that collection. Then we're saying, hey, that document, hab, the field creation date, let's set that to a new ISO date hab dot creation date we want the date the iso date based on what the field was and then we're just going to save that document for each of those documents so that's all we did and as you can see it's actually very simple to convert each document that has a string field to now a date field